Hey my loves, welcome back to a new video. My name is Liz, for those who are new, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and on today's video we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to lay those edges. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I normally lay my edges every day when I'm going to work, when I'm meeting friends, like this literally takes me no more than 5 to 10 minutes. So yeah guys, let's just get straight onto this video. There are about three or four things that you're going to need, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. So the first thing that you're going to need, you're going to need this edge, um, edge, I don't know what you call this. It's like basically a toothbrush, but this is mainly for your edges and I got this from my local Asian store. It was like 99p, something like that. Um, the second thing that you're going to need, you're going to need the Moray's Black Pure Australian Beeswax, this one. The reason why I tend to use the black one over the clear ones is because I know myself and I know that I do not have the fullest edges. Um, so obviously there are spaces like within my edges that are quite thin I would say it kind of has spaces and if you do decide to use the black one the black one does tend to cover those spaces that you know maybe you might feel insecure about you might not I don't know I feel insecure about mine hence why I do tend to use this black um, bees edge wax so the next thing that you're going to need is some hair gel I use this big tub of gel the reason why I buy the large one is because it lasts me like a year um, and guys, I do apologize for like the loud noise. I've had to open my window because it's like 26 degrees outside and I just, I can't. But anyways, yeah, I use this Eco Styler Gel and this one is in Aragon Oil. And here it says it has a maximum hold, like 10 maximum hold, which I guess is quite good. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do our edges. This is a struggle right now. This is a struggle. Right, anyways, I'm going to find a mirror and then come back and show you guys how I lay my edges. Okay, so now I have my mirror. <laughs> I have my mirror now, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys how I lay these edges, the little baby hairs that I do have left. Um, I've never really been the one to have really thick edges, so we're just going to work with what God gave us, I guess. So I dipped the toothbrush on the gel, like so. Guys, I'm out of breath because I've literally been running past whew, two flights of stairs. But anyways, we move. Um, so yeah, so here's the gel on the toothbrush. And now, I literally just go ahead and I do this. I literally just follow the direction. Of my edges and I also use my fingers to swoop it or you can use this part to swoop it so you could also do this and then use your fingers so you don't really need to be rough on your edges you really don't and then I just add some more and then I go ahead again and I do the same on the next swoop here and then that one belongs here so I'm gonna move that up and I just literally go ahead and I do this literally again with the fingers so it's honestly guys it's honestly that simple so again i've literally just followed it up with my fingers and then for this one i usually just try and bring a little bit up and then what's left of my sideburns then i'll just bring it down but this is obviously optional but i just like to do this look especially when i have my hair up in a bun so it should look like something like this like so so you honestly don't really need to do much like that did not even take me a long time and that is literally one side so we're gonna go ahead and just continue and do all across my face. So for this front part here, I go ahead and I do the same thing again. So it's just quite repetitive really. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fast forward it a little bit just so that you guys can kind of do it with me if you are about to do your edges right now or if you're just learning and you wanna give it a try, this would be the time to do exactly that. Yeah. No. 
Okay, so now that I have applied my hair gel on both sides of my edges, on both sides of my edges, what am I saying? On both sides of my head, um, hopefully I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, so now, you could be done right now. You could say, okay, that's it, I don't need to add anything else. But for me, I need to add the beeswax. As I mentioned at the start, I feel really insecure about the spaces that I may have you know thin spaces on my edges that I feel like need filling up so that's when I go ahead and I add the beeswax and I also find that whenever I add the beeswax my edges stay on more like much more longer so this beeswax is mainly um it's mainly used for braiding but I use it for my edges I'm not using it for what it's meant for but it works for me and I'm just doing what works for me so I just go ahead and I use my toothbrush again I just put the littlest bit though I don't really Put on a lot just the tiniest bit and i just focus on the areas that i need it so i don't actually use it like all over my um my edges if that makes sense so i just go ahead and i just go over what i already did and you guys can already see like it looks much darker anyway which is what i am going for so there you go and i don't know if you guys can tell but to me it looks much flatter now like here it was standing up a little bit so now it's much flatter and then here just a little bit just gonna add it on just there so now that that's done i'm just gonna go ahead and use my do-rag to just close it down maybe for five to ten minutes and then i'll come back and show you guys the final results I don't want your number, no. I don't want to give you mine at home. I don't want to meet you nowhere. So I am back, guys, and I'm just about to take off um, my do rag so you guys can see the final results. I'm excited, but sometimes the beeswax can be quite sticky, so don't rip it off all the way. Like, just go slowly, like, as you take it off. You guys will see what I mean. Let me just do it so you guys can see what I mean. Um, so. Just go ahead and undo this bit. So this is the part that I mean. So you just want to go slowly. And voila. So this is the final results. I am quite impressed and I'm happy that the first time that I do a tutorial on how to do something, I succeeded. I, I am it. So hmm. here's this side. And then here's the other side and obviously you guys know that my braids are almost expired so I'm just trying to make the most out of the time that I have left with it because I'm literally gonna get rid of these braids um, I'm giving it another two weeks I'm gonna take these off in about two weeks so I'm just enjoying it and I feel like when they get old that is the time for you to play about with your braids you know wear it up wear it down play with your edges you know you can be more relaxed so yeah guys this is the final result I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial I really just wanted to start doing more how-to videos as well because I feel like I'm really good at doing my hair I'm really good at doing skincare and other fun stuff as well so I thought why not you know try it out on my channel and see if it's gonna help you guys and if you guys enjoy Enjoy it then I'm just gonna keep going so thank you so much guys for joining me on today's video I hope you guys have an amazing day please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video Mwah.